Hello. Welcome to our Valentine's Day gift guide. So sweet. This one's going to be fun. It is, yeah. I've been looking forward to doing this one. Well, Valentine's is like only just around the corner. What's it is. A week away? Yep, something like that. Better get going. Ah, not got long left. Um, but in sort of preparation for this video, we are obviously very bored in lockdown, so we made our own merchandise. We did. These <laughs> nice t-shirts with a little J&M. Check these out. J&M logos. You've got a vinyl cutter. I've had a vinyl you? cutter since I was at first year uni, I think. I bought it randomly. So we and used that. It is perfect for merchandise. So there's only two in the world, I'm afraid. Bit of fun. Yeah. Bit of fun. Um, but for our gift guide, we have tried to think differently to your usual flowers and chocolates and underpants and teddies and all of that kind of thing. And we've tried to think of ideas that you and your partner will both enjoy sort of doing together during Absolutely. lockdown. Um, and also, if you are a fabulous singleton and you are spending Valentine's Day just you, yourself and I, then I think you'll really like some of these gift ideas as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. And there's even some gifts for your mum and dad so you can spoil everyone in your family. Absolutely. So without further ado, should we get started? Let's get going. All you gotta have is love. All you gotta have is love. We have broken this gift guide into four different categories. Four different price brackets, yes. Yeah. So from zero to 20. From 20 to 50. 20 to 50. 50 plus. And then the big bucks. Yeah, the go to town budget. If you, if you really want to treat someone special, stay you tuned wanna... for some insane diamonds that are coming at the end of this video. So exciting. Because diamonds are. Jamie a proposed again. Can you believe friend. it? I nearly fainted. Mm -hmm. Right, so let's get going with the naught to 20 pounds category. Um, we know we've got a lot of foreign viewers and people from America, so we've put the price conversion in the bottom corner there just to give you a better idea as to how much things cost. We always like doing things for each other that are very personal, so I would say the very first thing that doesn't cost really any money at all, a homemade card. Oh, I love a homemade card. <laughs> Get creative. Absolutely get creative. You can buy amazing cards on places like Etsy. There's small businesses around. There's nothing like a homemade card with a nice message inside. I completely agree. So yeah, that would be the first thing. And in a similar vein of sort of making things at home, we have all become master bakers. We have. During lockdown, I feel like, you know, we've been doing banana bread, we've been doing sourdough. So why not get creative and do some baked treats for each other? I put together a little cake for you this week. You did, yeah. Very nice. Big hot cake. And also, look, mm. this is like the first gift idea. You can get these really, really cute little heart-shaped biscuit cutters. We actually got these from Amazon. They were £10. Um, but again, you can get them from literally like any website if you just Google this. Um, and yeah, I'm going to make you some shortbread biscuits, I yeah. think. Well, actually, it's something that you can do together as well. I think a lot of the theme throughout this is going to be that they are gifts that you can do as a couple yeah. or as a family or on your own. But I think they're really sweet. And also kids would enjoy making yeah. little heart-shaped biscuits with those, so that would be a good idea. <laughs> Is there water? I'm so sorry, I've just spilt an entire glass of water everywhere. Whoops! <laughs> we just had to pause, but if things have shifted slightly, that's why. Okay, continuing with the zero to 20 pounds category. Um, the next thing on my list, you actually bought me this recently. I did, yeah. I've been obsessed with this book for a really long time, but I've never owned a copy. And it is, a lot of you will have already heard of it, I'm sure, because it is like a worldwide bestseller. But it's The Boy, The Mole, The Fox and The Horse by Charlie Mackesy. And it's absolutely amazing, um, and it's not expensive. What I found amazing about this book is whenever I'm feeling a little bit anxious or worried during lockdown, everyone sort of is having those moments during this pandemic, this book is just amazing to have in the house. The illustrations are beautiful, the little phrases and the quotes that he writes are just stunning, and it just makes me feel really calm and happy. Um, so I think it's a fantastic little gift for you know, him or her, your parents, anyone to just have in the house. Go on, show them one of them. Show Read one on. of them. I love this one. Sometimes I feel lost, said the boy. Me too, said the mole. But we love you and love brings you home. Oh. So sweet. 
cute, isn't it? So it's just sweet. the most beautiful book. And it just looks really nice as well. So if you wanted to do like little coffee books on your coffee table or something like that, it's quite stylish it's as really well. Nice. And it's roughly £10 from literally anywhere online, Waterstones, Amazon, whatever. But that would be the next gift idea. You all know that I'm pretty techy and I think no one can have enough leads. <laughs> This doesn't sound like a romantic gift. This but. is not really a romantic <laughs> gift, but... More practical. Megan also always steals my leads. Um, so Charges. What I, charges. Mm. Charging leads. So I actually went and got her a pink, because it's Valentine's Day, pink iPhone charger. It's actually a um, three. It's a, it's a set of three. That is true, yeah. One of them's pink. That's the pink I one. I mean, I only really wanted that one. Which is really cool. Um... Not a sweet gift. No. But very practical. And the, and then I got extra long ones as well. So we got white ones and I got a nice rose gold one as well. Um, and yeah, I can just put them all around the house. They, again, were about £10 from Amazon. And it is such a handy gift. Like, so handy. Valentine's Day doesn't have to be about love and cuteness and all Honestly, that sort of stuff. don't get me wrong, I love, I love chocolate, I love flowers. Um, but things like this last so much longer. Useful. Really. Useful gifts. Really useful. So the final thing in our zero to 20 pound category is, of course, wine. So you might be making a nice dinner for a loved one. Mm -hmm. um, or you just want to get drunk on your own in the bath. That's true. Um, everyone needs a little bit of wine, as long as you're of age. I've spoken about it a little bit in the vlogs, but my friend who's in the north of England has a really sweet... Um, wine company. It's a wine company, yeah, in Nutsford. If anyone's in that sort of area of the, uh, the world, in the UK, go and check him out. He's amazing. He'll sort you out. But yeah, um, wine for family members is an amazing gift. Yes, and he, he packages up the wine really nicely. And again, it's a small business to support. Um, and that is very much a theme throughout this vlog is that we're trying to highlight, I know we've mentioned Amazon quite a lot just to like buy the books and the leads and things. Um, but we've got things coming up from lots of small businesses that we have lent our support to. And in fact, I might grab a glass now. Oh, shall we? Should we have a It'd glass? It'd be rude not to. Go on then. <laughs> Do the honors. nice. Wine on a Wednesday. Wine and chocolate. Mm. So, so good. It doesn't matter how much the bottle of wine is or you might get them some food. Mm -hmm. Just a little gift is really nice. So even for your best friends. Really nice. Chin chin. So that concludes our first category. So gift ideas that are under £20. I mean, I think the main thing is to just sort of be creative and get personal. Get personal. They are often the best presents. Homemade things. And they don't need to cross really the nice. world. So next up is the 20 to 50 category. Yeah, if you're looking to spend just a little bit more on your loved one, um, here are some gift ideas for spending around about 50 pounds. So first up are flowers. Flowers. But not your ordinary flowers. So flowers are a bit of a classic for Valentine's Day. They are. Right? Your red roses. I've done it before. I've had them delivered to work. Obviously, everyone's working from home, so that's probably not going to happen. Yeah. Flowers are really nice. But, I mean, but. I love flowers, but they die. They and when do. they die, I'm really sad. And I do think Valentine's Day flowers can be very overpriced. Um, you know, it is quite a commercial day of the year. Lots of businesses try and make lots of money from it, um, especially flower companies. So we decided to work with a lovely, lovely local company called Flower Tonic. Oh, look how cute. Um, and the owner, Lucy, basically creates bespoke dried flower bouquets. Yeah, get it out, get it out. Oh, look, it's even really the vase right. is beautiful. That's so nice. So I messaged Lucy on Instagram. You can find Flower Tonic on Instagram. Um, she's obviously based in Southwest London, so near here. She's a small business, so please go and support her. Um, but if there are any other local florists in your area that do this kind of thing, it's such a good mm. idea for Valentine's Day. Um, so I asked Lucy to kindly create a, a bunch of flowers that had sort of neutral tones and blush tones Some for our living ones. room. And she delivered this today. It's absolutely stunning. It's so nice. It's so beautiful. And, and the best thing, what? it will last forever. Yeah, 
it's going to last so long. So I actually paid £35 for this particular bunch, um, which was a little bit of a discount. So thank you very, very much, Lucy. Um, but she does sort of bigger bunches, different price brackets online. Um, but I did pay £35 for that one. And I think it's absolutely beautiful. What a lovely, lovely gift. Next couple of items are all about silk. Silk? Silk. Silky, silky. It's very Valentine's-y. Oh, it is. It is indeed. Um, so first up are these amazing slip silk hair bubbles, which I think are a fantastic gift idea for, I mean, it's a guy who has a man bun. True. Or women who want to just look after their hair. Obviously, silk is so much kinder to the hair, so I converted to these very recently because I bought them because you bought them for me and they are genuinely genuinely amazing so you can actually get a pack of six from spacenk.com for 39 pounds let me just check that yes 30, 39 39 pounds for pack of six but they are absolutely fantastic and what a lovely lovely little gift idea for very sweet her. Really nice. Next on the silk list is very COVID relevant. Mm -hmm. They are silk face masks and face coverings from a company in the UK. Amazing. They've got really cool patterns like green zebra, pink zebra. Mm. I'm not sure I would be able to rock them. You but absolutely could. But yeah. it's, it's from a company called Lila Wild and they do like silk loungewear, silk face masks um, and they honestly look amazing. Lila's very, very kindly sending us some masks in the post so we should have them for actual Valentine's Day. Yeah, then we can show you. So they will appear in the next vlog but obviously we've put a link on the screen and some pictures so do go check them out because if you want some a nice fashionable mm. face mask to rock for Valentine's Day then what a cute little gift idea. And come back for the other video because I'll be modelling one. Yes, yeah, you should. I'll you absolutely <laughs> should. I love it. No, yeah, they're really cool. Go and check them out. Next on the list is a candle because who doesn't love a candle? And this one is from Jo Malone which is a very well-known company. Ta-da! So this arrived the other day. This was actually um, a gift from some of my friends it to was. me. Yeah, it was so, so sweet and lovely. And it arrived in this beautiful box. I've bought from Jo Malone in the past, but I didn't realize that for Valentine's Day, they're doing personalized candles, so you can get them engraved, which is such that a lovely cool. little extra. Um, so this is the candle. Is this one engraved? This one's engraved at the bottom. It says oh, wow. Megan there. Megan. So they're not gonna there's see the that. candle. Well, we'll get closer. Yeah. This is lime, basil, and mandarin. The lid's on. Can you smell it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it does smell it really delicious. nice. smells um, delicious. But the candles on their own are £49, so just under £50. And then if you want the um, engraved name at the bottom or a cute little message on top of that, then it's an additional £15. So £64 for the candle, so it's not... It's not the cheapest gift in the world. But it will last for... But it will last. And I, I feel like Jo Malone is, is quite a special yeah, brand. And it it's is. quite a, a, a And they smell delicious. Brand. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It just makes the whole house smell absolutely amazing. But I love that. That's love, a really love, nice love. gift. Such a nice gift idea. I'm going to have one of these. Are you? Oh, they're wet. Oh, they're wet because <laughs> the water spilt all over them. <laughs> so the final gift was one that I bought for you, mm. from me to you. Pardon <laughs> How's me. the Ferrero Rocher? Delicious. <laughs> um, yeah, I really like this one. This is really, really cute. It's a book, but it's no ordinary book. Um, I actually bought this for our first anniversary because first anniversaries are obviously paper. Uh, and it's from a company called Love Book. So Love Book, um, we'll put the, a link to the website. And you can basically go on their website and they have like pre-made books that you can just tweak and alter, design your own characters. So I basically designed a little Jamie and Megan. And my rosy really cheeks. Sweet. And then inside on each page you can just like write um, a different story. Or it can just be like a little picture and a phrase. So for example that says, I love your dimples. And then it's a little cartoon picture of Jamie with dimples. Which I think it's really, really sweet. sweet. And every page has got different things on it. And you can just sit down and read them. They're very thoughtful. Yeah. We love these sort of things. I'm sure there's lots of companies out there that do it. We just yeah. went for Love Book, but have a look in your own countries. I'm sure there's something. And it's such a thoughtful gift. So sweet. And that book was exactly £50. So, yeah. It's still in that, that really bracket. Really sweet. 
but a very, very sweet idea. I love your arms, it says. Does it? Uh, I don't think I've, I haven't been to the gym for a while. <laughs> I don't think I've been to the gym ever. I think that concludes the 20 to 50 category. Yeah. So what's next? Uh, 50 plus. 50, 50 plus. plus. 50 For all of those plus. people who've got all that money to burn. Oh, who's got a bit bit of a bigger budget. I feel like this one is a very sort of couple gift idea. This one was actually your idea, wasn't it? It was, yeah. Something that you sort of really, really like. I like my tech. I like taking pictures and merging them together. <gasps> Ta-da! Is this little camera here by Polaroid. <sighs> this is so cool. Um, so obviously, you know, we are a society of selfie takers and mobile phones and going digital with our photography. Uh, Take our a picture and it stays on your phone forever. Yeah, digital photography. Um, but this is sort of stripping it back a little bit. And it's going an old school. Going old school. It's an amazing Polaroid camera. So this retails at just under £130. Um, but it's something that's obviously going to last forever. You can just keep buying new film for it. It's also Bluetooth compatible. It is. So you can control things like the exposure. Um, to be honest, I haven't really looked into it that much yet with the actual app. Because most of it can just all be done on here. Yeah, it's It really has a cool. cartridge that goes in the bottom. There's eight films, so you can take eight pictures at a time. We've currently got the um, coloured ones in there so that you can get black and white or coloured. And you just snap a picture. Should we take one? And it pops out the front. There might be some viewers that don't even know what one of these is. What? Surely. Like the old school photos. That yeah. was quite a while ago. Basically snap a photo and then like a minute later you, you get it developed. So, should we take one? Yeah, let's give it a go. Of us? Yeah. Okay. A selfie with the away. Polaroid. Ah, look! Woo! Look at that! Pops out. And then you're supposed to hide it, aren't you? You're it meant can't... to leave it for five seconds and then hide it for... Can't have exposure to the light, so... Do you want to put it in a book? Hide it, hide it, hide it! Put it in a book. Hide it. You can hide it for 15 minutes and then it straight away is there as an old picture. That's going to develop. But, I mean, what an awesome present. I actually think really this cool. is such a good gift idea, not only for Valentine's Day, but as like a wedding present as well. Absolutely. Or something along those lines, but it's really, really cool. We even personalised this one. <laughs> so that was kind of the only thing around like the £100 mark, well, 120 Well, we don't really spend that much money on Valentine's Day, so... No, I feel like that's quite a lot to spend. But, 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 but... If you really want to go to town on Valentine's Day and you're thinking, do you know what? I'm just going to go all out this year. Mm. Then diamonds are a girl's best friend. <sighs> diamonds. Diamonds! Oh my goodness. This got me so excited this week. It did, yeah. This week we had a very, very special delivery from... Rings with Grace. So Rings with Grace. Grace, some of you may know her. She was our bridesmaid. Amazing human being. Love her to death. Has just launched her own bespoke engagement ring and wedding band company, which is so, so it's cool. Really cool. So cool. And she was incredibly kind um, in lending us some rings and some diamonds this week. So for those of you that looked at the thumbnail and thought that Jamie proposed again, I mean, he did. You did get down on one knee in the kitchen. She just said no. I was like, we've been there, we've done it, we can't afford another wedding, <laughs> so let's just not do it. Um, but Grace's rings are so beautiful. And what's really, really cool and fashionable nowadays is the, the stackable rings. Mm. So you can go on the Rings with Grace website, which we've put a link to below, and you can buy the 14 karat gold bands from around about £150. Um, that's what they start at. And then you can go up and get some sort of more diamond bands for, for your wedding. She also has absolute whoppers like this stunning 1.5 carat dainty ring. It's called the Dainty and it's such a classic. Um, but basically, if you are thinking about buying or well, proposing, yeah. oh my gosh, so exciting. If you are thinking about proposing, obviously Valentine's Day is just around the corner, so that might be a bit of a tight yeah, turnaround. Yeah, a bit quick because it's all bespoke. Exactly. This might be something sort of more longer term, like longer term planning. Mm -hmm do reach out to Grace because she can basically make any engagement ring tailored to um, individual budgets. So if you go to her with a budget, she will absolutely keep that in mind and help you create the ring of your dreams. It's so cool. It is really and, cool. Because Jamie designed this one 
um, with veal jewellery and you really enjoy the design process. It was really good. I could like play around with the 3D modelling and that's what I've done in the past in my engineering. Um, but yeah, it was really fun to like meet up every now and again and like design it, tweak it. And Grace does the same thing. So I think it's just so lovely to have a story behind it. Yeah. Like being able to say, oh, you know, I worked on this myself and it took months of sort of planning and I don't together. really know the difference between like going into a shop and buying, if, we, if I was to buy that ring, yeah. what the price difference would be. But for me as a guy and like not knowing anything about rings, going to someone who can literally pretty much hold your hand, walk you through yeah. the whole process. Um, and I wanted to know loads of information. He kept sending me pictures of how it was made. Um, so bespoke is a really good way to go. Yeah, um, absolutely. So do check out Rings with Grace. She's also on Instagram. You can contact her directly if you are looking for either some fashionable bands um, just to wear sort of every single day or something a little bit more special. We can't wait to hear all of your engagement stories. Mm. Do you think many people get engaged this Valentine's Day? They might do. They might yeah. do. Maybe. There are lots at Christmas. I feel like my yeah. social media accounts were just flooded with people getting engaged at engaged, Christmas. Yeah. No, there's quite a few. I think there'll be a lot of weddings once we're out of this lockdown. It's just going to be 2022 is going to be like the year for weddings, I think. Yeah. Oh. If you're watching this, though, and you are actually proposing on Valentine's Day, good luck. And let us know. Yeah, please tell us. We, we keep it a secret. Yeah. Just, just drop me a message. I won't know who you are. <laughs> we're just like, oh my God, you're getting but engaged. Good luck. Yes, best of luck. And can we come to the wedding? Please. <laughs> we've actually been invited to a couple. We have. We've been invited to sing a few. Yeah. We actually, yeah. Um, we might do. Maybe. There's, there's so many messages, but it would be fun to be able to like almost give back a little bit to yes. some of you subscribers we're singing and the community. At, we're singing at Lauren's wedding next year. You know, Lauren, bridesmaid Lauren from the wedding video, the one that we basically made famous from that video. <laughs> um, she's getting married next year and we are singing her down the aisle. We are. Her and her girlfriend. Maybe a few fiance. songs before that as well. Yeah, they've asked, yeah. What's that? No, I can't give away what they've asked for, can uh, I? No, that's no. top secret. <laughs> Maybe exciting. it's a secret that we're playing. Maybe. Well, we better check if, with if it is, we'll cut it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's basically our little Valentine's Day gift guide. We hope you found it useful and in inspiring. Hope it's inspired a few yeah. people. They're only small gifts or, you know, ideas. But um, I think the main thing from it, and this is what I always love, get personal, get creative, and just do something in the house that you can do together. Cook a nice dinner. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Even if you're on your own, even if you're spending it on your own, treat yourself. Get in the bath, Ooh, a few well. bubbles, a bit of champagne as well. Or get on Zoom with a friend. Not at the same time as the bath. In the bath. But... Well, well, each to their own. You never know. <laughs> So we are going to spend the next few days finishing off our love song medley, which we've been planning for a couple of weeks now. Yeah. So we're really, really excited for that one. Um, thank you for all your suggestions, by the way. We th we've thrown a few in there. That hopefully will go up early next week. Yeah. So, so we've gone like away Wednesday from like Thursday. the Sundays. Only temporarily. We're going to get back to that because that's quite a nice structure for us. Yeah. Um, but just for now, yeah, hopefully the love song medley on Thursday. Absolutely. So you can all have a nice listen and get into the mood. And then a Valentine's vlog just of what we actually get up to. Us. What we get up to. Oh, yeah, we'll do that as well. We can share that. But yeah, please let us know what you guys are doing and what gifts you buy your significant other. Please do. Yeah. Right, should we dance this one out? Oh, you got